Today I'm going to be trying the open fire pit grill from Cameron's. It's a uh, pole with a uh, grill surface that you can slide up and down and adjust uh, for height and direction. And it comes with it, a carry bag in the bag in it, in it, so that's pretty cool. This is the bag that it comes with. It's pretty thin. I give this thing one year. Tops. Uh, you got your two poles that you just uh, screw. To, oops. <laughs> they just screw together. It's pretty easy. The paint job on this is actually pretty weak. It's already peeling off, and I've never even used it once. One nice thing is it does come with a couple of flat spots right in here. So uh, once these get stuck together, you can put a couple wrenches on there and get it apart pretty easily. Now you got your grill surface here, which is going to go like that. They say it's not stick. We'll see. And then this guy right here, which is uh, you got to see to believe. So this is the part that slides up and down the pole, up and down the pole, and holds the grill. But you can see it's just fasteners that have been tack welded onto a tube. So. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of, I mean, I'm sure it works, but it just seems kind of hinky for something that's supposed to be professional. And here's the part that keeps the grill from sliding up and down. It's just two, two bolts that are tack welded on there. I mean, it's, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So this thing is already bending right where the, the uh, two pieces of the arm that holds the grill up is connected together. So that's kind of weak. And I can't get the this piece right here. Let me get my finger in here to hook into those two pieces right there. Just it just won't do it. So it's kind of leaning forward a little bit. But anyhow, I'm gonna give it a go. All right, let's give this thing a go. On the picture, they show corn on the cob and some hamburgers and some sausage. I'm just gonna do corn and burgers. All right, I'm very much hoping that my corn is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my burgers on. I started cleaning this off with a wire brush and then I remembered that uh, this is supposed to be a non-stick surface. And uh, in fact, I do have uh, some hamburger bits that are stuck onto the grill. I don't know why they call it non-stick because it's just chromed steel, uh, which is not inherently non-stick. And uh, the, you can see it's got a wavy pattern to it, so it's just going to catch food uh, and be more difficult to clean. So last night when I was cooking with this, it was kind of tilting forward, which was annoying. And then this morning I noticed that there's two sets of holes and I had the uh, the brace in the back holes and that's what made it lean forward when I moved it to the front holes it made it level so um, kind of a weird thing I don't know why they have two sets of holes but driving the stake into the ground flared the head out and now oops, I, this doesn't want to slide off the top which isn't the end of the world This came with screwed pretty easily, but look at the metal filings on here. I wonder how long this is going to last before that's uh, smoothed out into nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 